G'day mate, my name is Daly and today we're going to be playing Graveyard Keeper. So today our main objective is going to be trying to finish off the 12 carrots, 12 cabbages and 12 beets for testing quest. Yeah, let's go do that. And then we're going to also try to do something with the cremation. So we'll... Oh, look at that. I think they're done. So we'll try to um, look into all that today. Uh, let's put some more of you back there. That's never gonna stop I don't think. It is awesome. And we have some more plants. There we go. I think that's about all we have left, yeah. Yep, that's about it. So let's go visit the dude that... Oh, wait, we can't. He is going to be here in, what, four days? I forgot about that. The donkey's here. Oh, that's good timing. What other time do we want to do that? Wow, well, you're in a rush. Has he emptied his basket? Nah, still got some in there. Righty, yo, let's uh, deal with this buddy. So, usually, it's blood and fat that I've seen to have a good effect on the body. So, let's just go with that. Yeah, let's go with fat. Yep. Now it seems like brain, heart, and intestines are all uh, pretty, pretty much of a gamble. So I'm gonna go with brain this time around. See if it's gonna work. Yes, it's perfect. Not many skulls, but it's not negative. Check in. All done. That's the way. Radio. So last episode I did mention that I was going to try to upgrade my tools. I do want to have a look into that as well. So where is this cremation thing? There it is. Down here. So then we only need a billet. Is that it? Crematorium. Well, let's, let's go do that. We can cut down a couple trees though to do it first. But yeah, let's do that. Cracking some bullet, billet, whatever you want to call them. Creating some, at least. That's what we're doing. Oh, crap. I forgot to take some crap off me. There we go. We've got six. We need two more. So let's cut down this, this big tree here. Can I cut that down? Yeah. Holy crap. It, it deemed three logs. Well, that's done. What do we need for new weapons? Apparently I've already got some. Looks like I can only really... What's the hammer do? Do we have a hammer? We do. Rusty hammer. Okay. We want to do these. We don't need to worry about the hammer. Hmm. So we can only do one. I think realistically we use this shovel the most. So we, let's craft that. Rusty shovel. Shovel one. I don't know what we do with the old one. Is there a way that we can destroy it or something? No idea. I'll probably just put it into a chest down here for now because I don't need it right at this point in time. Now if I was to upgrade the other ones I kind of need a lot more resources. I need to get more firewood, I need to get more iron. So for now it's not going to happen. We're going to just kind of keep ourselves occupied until, uh, what day is it? Gluttony. We need to get ourselves, yeah busy until gluttony so for now we'll just see what this is what's going on here oh I see he's just making it oh cool I was kind of worried I'm just like oh, I better not be setting it on fire I'm not ready to set it on fire that's cool. Oh, I'm actually going to set up a lot of them. So when we have bodies, we can just burn them. Alright, our not-so-friendly donkey is at the door. So we better go greet that nasty little turd. Is that the second body body he's left us in the day? Wow. Alright, I've never burnt a body before, so we're going to do that. 
And he's going to be very interesting, so get rid of the blood. It seems to work with the blood and uh, fat. Fat. Awesome. Uh, let's go over the gamble with the heart this time. Ooh, that was bad. Intestines, maybe? Oh, no. Brain? Oh, no. It's, it's, it's got nothing left. Let's put something back. Oh, yay. It's got two, two um, skulls. Four skulls. Hmm. Do I put the brain back? Let's have a gamble. Oh, take the brain back out. Yeah, there we go. We have four good skulls. White skulls. Yeah. Put him there. Light him up. Awesome. We are having a fire. Let's stand over here. Yay. Keep it nice and tasty. We got ash and salt and burial certificate. Cool. Is that a lot more costly though? I don't know. No, probably not actually because you have to build the the headstones and everything. So no, probably cheaper. And you get ash and salt. Well, at least we know what's going on there. Oh yes, it's the time to pray, and we got more stuff for that too. We we better have a snooze though because I've run out of cake. Today's the day for pride. That is actually the name of the day. If you're wondering. But we are going to go and make a serum. And they maybe we have a few more people come. And maybe actually get somewhere with the bloody pride. The, what's it called? Faith. Not pride. Pride is a day. Start praying. Church quality 9. Oh, I need 10. It's a 90% chance. I bet we'll still fail it. I'd like to say a few words. Our church is great. Yeah, nailed it. Nice. And now let's just pray for this blessing. Oh my god, it worked. Okay, nice. Okay, good. Your donations are welcome. Wow, that's a lot of people. I'm getting lots of money. Money, money, money. Give me the money. 63, sweet. I'm getting money. I'm getting loads of it. So now we can do some, start doing some of the research, which is good. We could probably go ahead and teleport to our house, because I can't be bothered walking. And seeing if Snake is down here. Oh, he's not. Where is he? Oh, no, he comes down at night, doesn't he? We'll come talk to him at night. What do we do for now? Hmm. Good question. We probably should get firewood. So, let's do that. So I went ahead and collected some firewood. Now we're going down here to see if... Snake's here. He's not here. What the hell? Here he is. Here he comes. Can I talk to you? I am busy. Let's follow him like a real creep. Has he got like a mask over his face? That's cool. That's what it looks like at least. Hello. Try to convince him. I may... I have nothing against you. Maybe I can even help you. Hmm, you appear useless, but also harmless. Help me open this gate. I have these instructions and apparently I need a key. My lockpicks won't work. Bring me the key and we'll talk. Make one or find it, I don't care. Study the key and open the metal gate. Okay, I need, a, I need something behind this door too, so I'll try to help. You can take these instructions. Instructions for key. Cool. Yes. Um, you need to use the, a keeper's key with the instruction table 
with this instruction at a study table. Okay, we have to go all the way around. Go hard. At least we convinced him. And now we can actually study stuff. Which is good. Finally. Jesus. Okay, so it won't let us use the instructions to do, do something there. I do not understand what we need to do. Ah, we don't have a study table. Do we have a study table? Church works bent, alchemy rack. What is that? Hmm, I don't know. What do we do now? Instead. Well, we've got a day to kill. I could literally just stay in bed that whole day. And then talk to the trader. But I feel like it's a bad idea. Demonstrate what you're worth. Uh, what day is it? Oh, let's go to the tavern, actually. Let's do that. Because apparently she's there at the moment. Mrs. Charm. And she said something about having faith in yourself. So I assume it means literally faith. Oh, yeah. There it is. Be confident. And I need five faith. I have some questions. Yeah, so that's not going to happen now. So that makes sense in that aspect. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the underneath the church and I'm going to go and uh, study some things to get some more blue points. So we can either do heart or brain. It seems like they both give us blue points. So I'm going to go brain. Brain. This item can be decomposed into fluid. 50? Holy crap. That just boosted everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can get beams. That would be so much... That'd be, be very, very helpful. We need 200. How many... Um, we just got rid of it. 133. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the, ch the desk. So I can create notes uh, ch and chapter and all that. And I think I can, you know, make a story. Can I write a story? Oh no, here's a story here. Inventing stories. And I'm going to grab the candles to upgrade the church and then I'm gonna leave the rest because I really 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 want to get uh, this one here I need 200 of the red so I will get there in no time but for now we'll go upstairs and we'll see what it takes to make the candles simple iron parts that's it yeah, that's it let's go get some iron I do need... How do I make candles? Church workbench. Uh, that's downstairs, isn't it? Is this a church workbench? That's no, just church. Yeah, damn, we need a church workbench because I, I assume we need to make actual candles. Yeah, there it is. We'll, we'll make the iron parts first. See what that does. And there's a donkey at the door. Damn it. Oh well. Yeah, we'll deal with the body. Then we will deal with the uh, uh, body. Iron parts. Holy crap. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's no way in hell I'm burning this one. I'm so putting you in the ground. How fast does this take to dig now? Not long at all. Wow. Only two two buddy goes. We're at twenty one already. It's not bad. Not bad. We do need to get rid of the really crappy ones though. And replace them with like better ones. Just burn the really crappy ones. So you can still get the burial certificate. Don't just get rid of them. Oh cool, we can make uh, six simple iron parts. That's good. Oh no, we have our inventory full. Alright, we got the parts, so let's go back down into the church and see what the chandelier thingy is. Okay, here we go. We got a wall or... What's this look like? Okay. 
Okay, back. What's the wool one look like? I don't think I can put it anyway. That's weird. How much is it raised by one? Whoops. Let's put it there. Assume we have to light it or something. Craft. Oh, there it goes. Yep. Now we have to put the candle in it. I wonder if that's a a reusable source or not. Okay, so we need complex iron parts, nails, and flitch. Now this is where we're going to have to go get iron, which is over the other side of the swamp. Which is not, not hard to get to, but more of a pain in the butt. But it is probably time we go to bed. So we go to bed, and then we'll wake up, go and see the trader and we got all the extra crop down there that we can go and grab as well there we go we've got the carrots let's go grab the other stuff from the garden we are in the tavern now i didn't think before we should probably trade our our barrel certificates in so we got six for them Bloody hell yeah. I'm gonna go to buy another one of them. So I can go to and from. Oh no. Can I sell it back? Damn it. They both get used at the same time, so I just get rid of it. I just waste two silver. Damn it, I thought I was being a smarty pants. Turns out I'm being a dumb pants. Alright, let's get this guy his product and show him we're capable. Okay, about our deal. I have 12 carrots. Good job. I have cabbage. Good job. I have some beets. Good job. Task complete. Story. But be honest, these vegetables are terrible. I could only sell them to the poor townsfolk. They'll eat anything. Especially after two bad harvests in a row. Bad harvest? I don't see any sign of bad harvest. Seems like everything's going great. This place is truly sacred, but the town and its suburbs, are, there's a wattage shortage. The Verma River has gone down only to the Goldrill, which runs past your graveyard, still brings some water to Vilma. Even the town's bay has re receded, so the dead ship, the ship of the dead, can't leave ask about future sales. Is it possible to sell future harvest? You seem like you, like a reasonable guy I could trust. Sure. I have a dream. And I and I'm happy to know you're on my side. It's time you and I achieve the justice we deserve. I mean what we really, really deserve. And to the end I must become the keeper of the key King's Kitchen, the first tester, of course. This will grant me incredible power, plus I'll, I'll get to try all the delicious food which only the king can afford. And what's all this have to do with me? Money will make a killing. Then I'm in. To achieve my goal, we'll need to win the battle on two fronts. First, we need to corner the high-end food market to the in the town. Second, we need to bribe the members of the Royal Council. We can't corner the market with these vegetables, but I see potential with the, the help of some good fertilizer and the proper selection of crops, I believe you might grow something special. But first, I need, you need to get a trade license through your Royal Service Box near your church. Get one and then, and I'll be glad to have you as my partner. Okay, so I need money to sell money whatever grape seed royal fish look like fish rightio so that's done i need to what was it again so bring merchant a trade license to start a business right what a pain in the butt he's a real big pain in the butt so basically he wants us to get a, a trade license and we have to do that through the royal mailbox, which is out the front of the church, which is going to be very, very expensive. So, great. 
Just great. System papers, town pass, trade license, this one. So if I buy this, now I can buy the trade pass, it's 50 silver. Did I just buy a town pass by accident? Whoops. Did I? Town pass. Does that mean we got to go to the town now? We have to do this, deal with his body. I really, really want to go to the town. So I'm going to. Oh god, it's already 95, 94%. Do that. Yes. That. Wow. It seems like it is every time we get the blood and the fat, it always ends up with good, uh, good skulls. Except I haven't got time to bury you. I probably should. I really, really probably should. Let's do that. I'll bury him and then we'll go to sleep and then we'll go to the town. Alright, let's sell the burial certificate because I just buried that body. We've had a nap and let's go to the town. I'm very, very interested to see what's going on down here. I've got no idea what to expect at all. I'm kind of expecting, you know, castles, medieval, like villages and everything. Um, a little, kind of like this except a little bit more upkept. Probably a little bit more crazy with more NPCs running around. There's a few in here, which is good. You know, it's a little town and it makes it feel that way. But I think that the actual, the city, or the, it's actually called the town. This is a village. But, you know, the town should have a lot more people in it. But that's just my expectation going in here. The, the path to the town is closed. You need a town pass. Continue to the town. Come right ahead. Enjoy your visit to the town. Will that... What the hell? I just got shot... Stung, struck by lightning. Struck by lightning. God, you have died. Okay. Oh, what just happened? Seems like I'm alive and back home. Under the circumstance, I'm not sure that's good news. Sad. What the heck was that? I think I was struck by lightning on my way to the town. Hmm. I felt it. An ancient and powerful rage bounce on over here immediately. It would seem that someone or something of great power doesn't want you in the town. I'm not sure. Actually, I'm pretty sure that if you keep trying, things will end badly for you. Like, I'm a bad, to I'm a talking skull now. Too bad. But there's, but I need to go there. There's some magic items that I need to track down. I need to go home. I am a little offended that you were trying to leave me. But as your friend, I suggest you talk to. With snake in the church cellar. I think he'll be able to find the items for you. He's quite a nimble rogue. You know snake? I talk with him all the time. I hide a pile of dead, I hide in a pile of dead skull, and and we talk. He thinks that I'm his inner voice, so he's very open with me. Did he tell you anything interesting? As his inner voice, I find that question most unethical. Okay. I'll talk with Snake. Maybe he'll be able to help. Okay. Is he down here? Yes. Yes, he is. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Snake, can you find some items for me? Can you find some items for me in the town? I can find anything, just name it. A, a mirror of pride, an ethical burning coal, a salty fork. That's some weird stuff, as you may have noticed, I'm working a very important project right now. So I'm a little short on time, but if you help me, I'll help you. Snake! God damn you! Radio. um... Yeah, that's weird. Why the hell would we not be able to go to the town? I was really excited to see what the town would be looking like, but alright. Apparently that's not a thing. So we've kind of potted around a little trying to experiment with different things in this one. So we've basically uh, kind of con concentrated on the church and just trying to upgrade everything and, you know, trying to do a few things at once. We finally got ahead in the trading though, so we'll be able to, you know, get a, a fair bit into there. Now we have to figure out what's going on next. So that's all I've got time for today guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and you know the jazz. Everything is down in the description and you can find me here daily. Have a good one mate.
Bazooka's days as a cartel pimp are over. Oh, that shit, yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I don't know which characters which. So whichever one that was, God, he's funny.